Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. Also, I'm thrilled to announce that I've got a Telegram channel and a Patreon where you can enjoy exclusive content ahead of its YouTube release. Check the description or comments for the links. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Dark Touch Part 3 Shadow Clone Many opportunities with great danger. With successful use and good experience, it allows you to literally be in several places at the same time. If you lack the parameters of concentration, chakra reserve, and brain preparedness, you will most likely face death or, if you're lucky, an extremely painful pastime. But the main disadvantages of shadow clones did not concern me. Do you need to divide your reserve by a multiple of the number of clones? I have so much chakra that even creating a hundred clones will be enough for a full-fledged battle, but when the clones are destroyed, all their chakra replenishes my reserves. Every shinobi is trained in concentration, even a half-educated one like me. Without this, even a minimal level of chakra control cannot be achieved. The preparedness of the brain is compensated by my regeneration. According to the documentation, the average human brain suffers microbrain injuries with three clones actively existing for more than three hours. Before this everything is fine. Then everything depends on the degree, first of all, of training the mind than I have been studying lately, the amount of yin and chakra in general. I have a lot of the latter. The first is not enough, but only in comparison with the chakra. In comparison with the same Shikamaru Nara, who are all considered mental geniuses, I have six times more yin due to training in controlling huge amounts of chakra, its quality is also much higher. And besides, I definitely don't consider myself stupid, even if you compare it with Nara, Yamanaka, and so on. So, in comparison with others, I am not deprived of yin at all. The technique was learned in an hour, after which I was able to create the first shadow clone. We stood opposite each other and began to examine each other. From the outside, as I now see, my partial gray hair really looks strange, but personally I can't say whether it's ugly or even beautiful in some way. Now let's do it. I began. A small test. Finish the clone. I extended my hand forward with my palm open. The same palm rushed towards me at the same time as me. Cotton. Another one. More. For the next two minutes, one could hear continuous clapping of hands in complete silence. Communication check completed. No failures were noticed in the work. Let's continue. For the next two hours I had fun with the clones and tried to test all their functions. In the end, I had to admit, and I did, that this technique is a brilliant invention. It opens up gigantic possibilities that I will undoubtedly realize. In two hours, I found out that I can create 232 clones at a maximum of chakra at a time, and after that I can feel the depletion of chakra. An unexpected feeling, I must say, because I had never experienced it before. Physical exhaustion, nervous, yes, it happened, but I never had chakra exhaustion, and it was terribly unpleasant. Soon the chakra began to recover, but first of all, it was not my own that began to flow into the kirakuki, but that same fiery red chakra, which in color is closer to the color of blood, and only after that my own began to flow. But even so, the share of this incomprehensible chakra inside me was much higher than usual for three hours, which was noticeable by the pain from the chakra channels and increased. Aggressiveness. Almost everything irritated me to death. Any sound or rustle made me want to destroy everything around me. But I lay there and waited until the balance shifted to my side, but even so, the concentration of the monster's chakra in me grew, and I clearly felt it. All these created clones, not having sufficient supply from me, began to exhaust their resources. The result is that the clones lasted for five hours. But this is a huge amount of time for me. During this time, all of them, following my order, began to train their minds. A simple workout for concentration, attention and memory. It seems not so difficult. If you do it yourself, alone, for a couple of hours. Albeit with a load on the body, it's another thing when you meditate like this, fully concentrating on a given goal, for 6 hours multiplied by 232, 1392 hours of continuous mental stress, compressed into 6 hours, parallelized into hundreds of threads. As the clones began to disperse, I lost consciousness. I woke up in the hospital. I recognize this ceiling and smell even after death. I hope she has nothing to do with it. Everything was blurry in my vision. My head was spinning, and I felt a little nauseous. Teguda Senpei arrived soon. 
I don't even know whether I should please and praise you, or scold and beat you. What should I do with you? He asked calmly, standing by my bed. Teguda Senpei, but everything ended well, why be angry? At that moment I thought about how similar situations could happen to people dear to me, okay, you have a reason to be angry, but look at it with the other side. Now I know my limit, both chakra and mental. Although I probably significantly exceeded the last one. What condition am I in, Teguda Senpei? Hum. Not clear. On the one hand, when I found you, brought you here and conducted a full examination, I discovered that you had an incredibly severe depletion of the central nervous system. Your neurons were half a step away from starting a sharp degradation and self-destruction, even your regeneration only kept you from instant death, but before I could do something. Something. In your chakra has changed. Regeneration increased by orders of magnitude, the chakra began to become denser and form microelements in huge quantities and almost instantly restore the central nervous system. After the central nervous system was restored, the chakra began to decrease, somewhere. To the area under your hearth, at the same time drawing in your own chakra. They were completely mixed and when one disappeared, the second disappeared too. The chakra, despite its formation, disappeared for another three hours until it began to return to normal. Later, as far as I understand, you woke up. Now. Surprisingly, you don't have any problems. You have fully recovered. At the same time, completely. Independently. Congratulations Naruto-kun, you have become much more durable. At least if this was not an isolated incident. It's clear. This makes me happy. But I still have a headache, dizziness, and mild nausea. So I can't say that I'm completely healthy. Physically, you are completely healthy, Naruto-kun, but I cannot answer for your soul. I don't understand these matters and cannot say how such a flow of information affected her. It is possible that such a sudden flow of information could have harmed her a little. In this case, lie here for another three days and if all these problems remain, we will think further. Clear. What did you mean by something that can be praised? Oh yes, congratulations, you partially achieved your goal. Yin has increased. Not much, barely more than 1%. But there is growth. I just don't recommend repeating this again. Thank you. This makes me very happy. My pleasure. Now lie down and sleep. Perhaps sleep will speed up the recovery process. Then have a good day and night, senpei. I didn't argue, I just turned around and went to bed. The dizziness and pain were very exhausting, and it was difficult even to listen to the sensei, let alone speak. So I passed out almost immediately. I had to relax and lie down more comfortably. Commentary on part 18 thanks to the anonymous sponsor, made me very happy. Calling beta. 1, 2, 3, I came. Why count it? 4, 5, 6, really? I'm already tired of adding numbers and figuring out what to write here. 7, 8, 9, but it trains your imagination. Repaired. Part 19 As soon as I returned from the hospital, life began to sparkle with new colors. Shadow clones do not allow you to accelerate your physical development, but they do allow you to gain combat experience. They can't do much, but they can do even more. Now, during the day, I did not engage in stress on the brain. On the contrary, I tried to perform special exercises to relax the mind, relax it and keep it in active tone. I need this because during the day I exercise physically and relax my mind, preparing it for the evening. In the evening, I accelerate the chakra to the limit of duality, give the command to the clones to disintegrate, and they dissipate one by one, which eases the load on the brain. In total, thanks to chakra restoration, I can permanently support 18 clones. If you do more, they will slowly but surely consume the invested chakra resource. But these clones are not limited by anything, except that the speed of chakra regeneration for all of us is 19 times less, as is the volume, but this is more than enough. Of these 18 clones, 8 are constantly practicing water and fire techniques. 4 clones per element. This, in general, gives a very significant result. The speed of development of the elements did not increase four times, as one might assume, but much more, because the clones did not spend most of the day on the academy, on physical training, and on other matters. The only thing they did was spend my huge reserves of chakra on training techniques and elemental affinity. In the morning I got up, created these eight and sent them to the Uchiha training ground. Sasuke gave me full permission to use his clan grounds. Anyway, he himself uses only one of them, the rest are at my disposal, 
even if I change them every day. However, he didn't mind when I worked with him. As he said, it's simply easier for him to study when he feels someone close to him than when he's the only one in the whole block. I can understand him, this feeling is quite unpleasant. I myself did the usual exercises and exercises, then went to the academy and from there went on to full-fledged training. At the same time, the clones created a little later were sent to another training ground, where six clones were engaged in mental training to develop attention, memory training and observation. Two for one thing. One went to the hospital, where in Teguda Senpai's free time he received better training in theoretical medicine. Alas, I am still far from practice. But at the hospital I was able to find new equipment. The water mantis technique creates large water claws like those of the designated insect with a very sharp edge that allows it to cut through flesh like butter. I also liked this technique, and I studied it. More precisely, one of the clones that trained the water studied it. It took me only two attempts to master it, given my affinity for water, and it took one clone two days to create the same technique using pure control. But later, based on this technique, I thought about creating other techniques of this type. I still don't know the principle of creating techniques based on seals, no one, as they agreed, wants to explain or, which is also likely, simply does not know this principle. Except that he realized that most likely the third Hokage knows about him, because he became famous as a genius of ninjutsu, who created many techniques of all elements. But for now I'm not a high-flying bird and I can't go ask the Hokage. This means that we will have to take a more difficult, but, from some point of view, better path. Direct control over the elements. The last three clones dealt with my eternal problem, control and its increase. More specifically, by increasing the quality of yin. I supported them all day, while training myself as usual, and when I recovered on the 315th to 316th lap, I went to Sasuke. There I sparred with him until sunset. The next three hours of free time were spent on dinner, preparing for tomorrow, and so on. A then sleep with preliminary acceleration of the chakra to the limit of duality. The clones, sensing that I had fallen asleep through our connection, dispersed one after another, fifteen minutes apart. All the preparations lead to the fact that the next morning I feel quite well. The chakra, having accelerated under the influence of my will, itself slows down quite slowly, so that, when dissipated, a sharp influx of chakra spent on creating the clone and the return of chakra regeneration to its usual pace maintains the acceleration, and it already heals microtraumas received from the clones, especially from the six, which uses mental training in the brain and puts the body in order overnight. Teguda Senpei and I considered this training regimen to be the most optimal and effective. Over time, with the development of chakra, I will be able to support 19 clones at the same time constantly and the brain and mind gradually get used to such sudden jumps in information, moreover, in a dream, the brain works much more actively, and reaches a constant pace of work in such parameters. This will allow me to further increase the load on my mind. At this pace, a steady increase in the amount of yin began, and control over water and fire became easier and, to some extent, more natural. In three months, the clones worked out all the techniques known to me to the level of a maximum of one concentration seal, but I could do without it, it's just that then the effectiveness would be a little lower, but over time this drawback disappears and evens out. It is possible that sooner or later I will be able to use these techniques without thinking at all. True, when else will this happen? I also finally learned one of the most famous techniques of the element of water, the water dragon. All three of my clones studied it for four days, and I can't even dream of using techniques with one seal yet. I was sad. Yes, Thanks to the growth of both the quantity and quality of yin, I have improved my control over these months, and even my illusory clones began to turn out to be standing, albeit staggering alcoholics. Even if their appearance leaves much to be desired. The same control allows me to make myself much stronger, more precisely strengthening my body, strengthening it, which gives me greater striking power, in comparison with the previous me, even allows me to develop greater speed. This is what good control means, but at the same time, Sasuke manages to catch me more and more often. His Sharingan is, of course, an assistant, but it's one thing to notice or see, and another thing to have time to react. In pure strength and speed, I again pulled out far ahead of Sasuke, but I have no technical fighting skills, and he simply bypasses my blows, deflects them and does it more and more accurately each time. Yes, the fighting experience I am gaining allows me to come up with more and more new tricks, 
but just as our volumes are not comparable, and in my favor, my skill is not comparable to his, but in his favor, while the speed of development in his given plan higher than mine at times, if not orders of magnitude. Yes, my skills are enough for the academy, but because of the constant battles with me, Sasuke, I think, was already aspiring to be a chunin, albeit a weak one. Both in speed, in chakra volume, and in mastery with strength. In taijutsu, he makes me develop like a turtle, just as I make him in ninjutsu. But my main problem is still the lack of a teacher, someone who will speed up my learning, someone who will give at least basic knowledge, and then I will somehow break through, because the same academic style does not suit me, just like the style of Hanada and Sasuke. There's even a base tailored to their characteristics. But just a month before graduating from the academy, unexpectedly, I found a solution to the problem. More precisely, who else found whom? That's the question. Commentary on Part 19 Sponsorship from Stepan Nikolaevich has a positive effect. Thank you for the fish. Here's a sale for you. Thank him. And now, as usual, the ritual of summoning a beta. 1, 2, 3, Dima was here 4, 5, 6, Nimanuel was here. 7, 8, 9, what a disgrace. The cat could have made a couple of mistakes leave. Repaired. Part 20 What are you doing? Asked someone who suddenly came close to me. Out of surprise, I interrupted the 386 circle and jumped to the side about 5 meters, and only then did I see the person who had approached. A strange shinobi in black clothes with blue elements and a vest, behind his back was a katana of not the largest size, his hips were wrapped in white bandages, to which a small pouch was also hooked, he was wearing some kind of vest, different from those which I saw among the junins. His skin on his palms and face was open, but at the same time terribly white, as if he had never been under the sun, and the strangest thing was his emotions. There were almost none. I listened, accelerating my sense of emotions to the maximum, and only then was I able to feel a faint echo of emotions that indicated that he was satisfied and pleased with something. How? I don't know, alas, but I can read emotions and feelings, but not thoughts and memory. I'm training, but can't you see? I asked in response, gathering my thoughts, what are you doing here, Uncle Shinobi, watching the little boys? I accidentally came across you while walking through the forest. It became interesting, so I watched it. So why are your workouts so weird? You don't train your fighting skills at all. Strength, agility. Endurance, speed, reaction. All this is training, but not your fighting skills. Why don't you do this? The Shinobi asked me. At this time I noticed more and more details in his appearance, probably the training in attentiveness was not in vain. His skin is too pale, but with some movements a tan line is visible between his hand and the rest of his arm. Weak, barely noticeable, but it was there, which indicates that he can sunbathe, but for a very long time he was either in clothes that completely covered all the skin, or he was in a dark room, without leaving it, for an equally long time. The second version seems more likely, because wearing such clothes all the time is unrealistic. Even a shinobi has his limits, even if they are constantly shifting. And since he was in a constantly closed room, he could not get even such a weak, but already noticeable tan line. Since he turned so pale while he was indoors, it most likely had some purpose. But then he was released, he walked for a couple of days in the sun in the same or very similar clothes and then suddenly came across me. His emotions are also strange. It is as if he is deprived of them. No, they exist but they are very weak, invisible, dull and primitive. I feel the same emotions in some animals, but they are animals, not people. Oh, this all smells strange. Coincidence or not. I think our dialogue will be able to show this, as well as his goals in communicating with me, if there are any, of course. Because I don't know how to train it. Here they help me create a workout, individually for me, for my characteristics. But no one taught me taijutsu individually but everything that they can do for me teach doesn't suit me. That's why I primarily work on physical indicators. You know, the level of body development that you showed is above the level of a genin, approximately an average chunin, or even strong. But your taijutsu skills are completely untrained. Oh, well, thank you for such an obvious thing. I myself never understood this at all. That's completely stupid. What are you leading to? I asked point blank. To nothing. But if you want, in my free time I could train you in this direction. But this is according to your desire. But keep in mind that without good taijutsu you will not become a strong shinobi. As if by chance, 
he emphasized the last words of the shinobi. And he hit the nail on the head, but I'm not a moron, at least I hope so, because I understand that all this was somehow specially arranged by someone. This became especially noticeable at the moment when I asked him directly. Albeit weakly, anxiety and a bit of irritation began to appear in his feelings. He was worried that I was starting to get irritated and in a fit of emotion I might refuse, pride would arise or the like. Teguda Senpei taught me about the hormonal system, and I know that at my age it is quite normal to exhibit sudden changes in personality or rapid changes in the direction of emotions. Basically, at some point such a thought actually flashed through my mind, but I was crushed by the prospect of getting more power. Great, then I will be glad to learn from you, shall we start now or later? I asked. The shinobi nodded and his face slowly began to become completely emotionless, beginning my training in the process. Ten minutes later he was training me with a completely emotionless and pale face. I left after two hours, the workout was not as strenuous as circuit training, as I call it, but it was useful. From that moment on, everything went like this, my new sensei, who never introduced himself, trained me not so much on physical parameters, as he said, they are simply wonderful for my age. Instead, sensei taught me stances, correct strikes, movements, connections, and techniques. The training went well and quickly, because after a three-hour training session with him, he went somewhere, and I repeated everything I had learned over and over again, only starting to do circuit training in the late evening. I returned home at night and went to bed even later. I soon realized that I was not getting enough sleep again, so I had to change my daily routine a little and do everything to accommodate the comings and goings of the sensei and the academy. It's between them that I tried to arrange everything compactly. All month I persistently mastered all the new stances and movements, practiced them until I was satisfied, and then went to sparring with Sasuke and there I consolidated all this and turned it into experience. Sasuke soon noticed that my movements had become more systematic and congratulated me on gaining teacher, and then asked who he was. I couldn't say his name, for obvious reasons, but instead I described to him everything that I had come to in my thoughts about the sensei and all my observations. Sasuke nodded at first, and then went into the room. Along the way, I noticed surprise, awareness, understanding, and determination in his feelings. What did he think that such emotions flashed through his feelings? Commentary on part 20 There was no fish, but I'm posting it anyway. Happy reading and all the best, I hope you enjoy the chapter. I want to say that the entire fanfic will be written only from the point of view of the GG and there will be no POVs. The fact that something will happen or will not happen does not mean that it did not happen. Most likely Naruto simply does not know about it or does not understand something, does not notice or did not notice, and so on. In short, the whole FIC is a narration of what and how the GG himself perceives. There will be no insertions from another person to explain the situation. Thank you to everyone who reads and especially to those who sponsor me. Even if this is not necessary, I will post continuations anyway. Another thing is that when you receive a message that 2, 3, or 500 rubles have been transferred to your card, it really happened. It forces you to will or involuntarily take on and write a new chapter, because otherwise it's just somehow embarrassing, or simply not comfortable in front of the readers. In short, it greatly stimulates and forces the brain to move, hit the muse with a whip a dozen or two times, and start writing. Until the next sale. Summon beta 1, 2, 3, I'm here for. 5, 6, me too. 7, 8, 9, readability has been improved. Repaired. Part 21 Hello cutie. I said cheerfully to Hanada when I met her at the academy. Hello. Naruto-kun, don't call me that. On the street. Hanada blushed in embarrassment, giving me a wave of tenderness. That's Biju, how I like her, especially her feelings. But you like it when I call you cutie. Or should I call you beauty? I asked approaching her and standing very close and smiling with all my teeth. Just Hanada, Naruto, please, when you call me so. It's uncomfortable. What if someone sees and hears? Again a wave of embarrassment. I don't care. Whoever says something, I'll punch him in the face, I won't see who it is. Naruto, you don't need to be so cruel just because of someone else's words. If they are said in a negative light and in your direction, it's not just necessary, it's almost my responsibility. Tell me, Hanada, who do you think will join your team? I changed the topic of conversation. I don't know, but I hope you'll be there, Hanada answered. Yes, I would also prefer to have you on my team, 
Not only are you a sensor and a very dangerous fighter, but you, no less, and even more importantly, are so cute that you can just admire for hours. These words again generated a wave of embarrassment and a certain joy. Okay, let's go, the distribution will be soon. I said and went to the academy, Hanada followed behind me. Entering the classroom, we sat down at our desks. More precisely, at the desk. Sasuke had already settled down by the window. I sat down next to him and Hanada sat down to my right, Shino was sitting at the desk above us behind us. Sitting at his desk and waiting for the teacher, Aruka remembered this whole month since he found his sensei. He turned out to be a good melee fighter and taught me conscientiously. However, I doubt that he cared about conscience, rather he simply taught me efficiently. After my story, the next day Sasuke told me that his brother, Itachi, once disappeared somewhere, he was not home for two months, and when he returned, he was all pale without tanned skin, as it was before, or rather, it turned pale. His mom and dad answered Sasuke's questions that he had joined a special unit of a certain Anbu. Itachi did not talk about those who work with him, but small reservations among the family made it clear that this unit was located somewhere underground and the workers were sometimes not allowed out of there for years, so everyone there turned pale. And low emotionality is one of the signs of those who work there for a long time. Cause? Sasuke didn't know. But the main question is why did he find me? Why did you start coaching and why does it do it so well? Traces of tanning on the palms and neck, in connection with the new information that he is from some kind of shinobi unit, also a secret one, apparently indicate that the few days during which he received those tan lines he spent in the sun, perhaps following me. Subsequently, this idea was confirmed. Now that I realized that there are those whom I hardly feel emotionally, I tuned in to a deeper perception of feelings. To feel such insensitive people, and the effect appeared immediately. First of all, I noticed that when the sensei left, two equally emotional shinobi appeared and followed me literally everywhere. The only places where this did not happen were the Uchiha quarter, the hospital and the academy. Otherwise, they were constantly next to me. Not long ago, my chakra focus and entire circulation system developed enough to support the 19th clone constantly, which I did by sending him to chakra sensitivity training. Such training allows shinobi to develop a sense of chakra and perceive it to some extent. Those who were especially talented surpassed even Hyuga in this, sensing chakra for tens of kilometers around. There were only a few of these, but they did exist. These exercises were simple, but almost everyone wasted time. That is, you need to do nothing for a long time, focusing on the chakra and constantly trying to see it a little further. This process is very slow, Perception grows literally by millimeters, but almost constantly, during the exercises. It also puts a lot of strain on the brain when dispelling a clone. Very much. I think if it weren't for regeneration, I would be very badly. Over the course of a month, of course, the sensitivity did not increase much. The constant execution of the exercise by the clone allowed me to grow in sensitivity by only one and a half meters, but the very fact of success is pleasing. Soon graduation from the academy approached, it went surprisingly easily. The written test was easy. I remember it all. I also passed the throwing test well. With shurikens, everything turned out great. In taijutsu, too, everything was simple. A couple of moves and the enemy lies on the ground outside the circle. I just pushed him out at high speed. Everything went well with ninjutsu. Albeit with a creak, Uruka sensei accepted my illusory clone who at least did not stagger and stood firmly on his feet, even if he was almost white and transparent, there was an effect. They would have been given another six months, and it would have been almost impossible to distinguish them by sight, unless the sensors could do it, even weak ones, which is the main disadvantage of the technology. After that, we were told to arrive for assignment to teams at a given time. Here we are, waiting. Sakura and Ino continue to tag along with Sasuke, while the others have already fallen behind, although sometimes they glance at him with special glances. Finally, Aruka appeared, we fell silent, deciding to finish talking sometime later. Hello children. Today is a special day for you. Aruka sensei is generally a big fan of making speeches. Is he rehearsing them, or what? However, it doesn't matter. Aruka, although a good teacher, did not like me from the first day. On the very first day of our acquaintance, I, despite his smiles and good speeches with a friendly smile, felt his negative emotions directed at me. 
Over time, something changed, he asked me about everything, he always wanted to show himself as my friend, especially in the last year, but his feelings clearly say, he's a pussy. Finally, the distribution began. Team number 7, Haruno Sakura, Inazuka Kiba, Aburame Shino, Sensei, Kurenai Yuhi. Team number 8, Uzumaki Naruto, Uchiha Sasuke, Hayuga Hanada, Sensei, Hitaki Kakashi. Yes. I whispered quietly and extended my palms to my teammates now sitting to the right and left of me, and the same palms from Sasuke and Hanada hit them. When the distribution ended and everyone began to leave, we continued the interrupted conversation. During the conversation, time passed unnoticed, and when the door opened and a shinobi appeared there, the class was already there as no one left. Oh, sensei, sorry, we didn't notice you right away. Come on in. I told him when I noticed a new source of emotions. Commentary on part 21 new part, that's probably enough for today, I'll go to the bathhouse. Thanks to everyone who reads. Comment. Summon beta. 1, 2, 3, somewhere far away. Apchi. Hum, why would that be? Backed off part 22 let's start. Said our new sensei, and the three of us jumped into the bushes, where I immediately took out a bundle of fabric and, grabbing one of the edges, quickly unwrapped it, throwing it on top of all of our trio. All of them did not stand and immediately crawled under the fabric. We sat down and I fed chakra into the fabric, merging us with the terrain. This, of course, is unlikely to help against a Jonin at my level of technology, but it's worth a try. Guys, let's think about how we will live. He wants either one of us to sacrifice himself for the sake of the rest, or he wants the weakest in our team to be eliminated. I spoke without moving, and Hanada and Sasuke listened to me in the same way. There are no teams with two members, but this does not mean that the second option can be excluded, they may well select the missing team member from the outside. Looking at me only with his eyes, Sasuke said. What do you think, Hanada? I turned my gaze to her. I. I agree with Sasuke, she answered. In this case, let's go from the opposite. Hanada, can you beat one of us and take the bells for yourself and the other one left? I immediately asked. No, she answered, turning her head towards me, fortunately she did not touch the fabric with her head. Then the same question for you, Sasuke. Of course not, he answered, although in my emotions I caught a momentary uncertainty, but he was immediately depressed. In this case, since I am in the same situation, you are too dear to me, only the first option remains and it is necessary for someone to sacrifice themselves. In fact, it doesn't matter who does it, anyway, even if Kakashi Sensei carries out his threat, the one of us who returns to the academy will soon be back in action. I am the owner of a huge reserve and the best physically, Sasuke is the head of the Uchiha clan, and also a genius, you, Hanada, are the princess of the strongest Konoha clan at the moment, and they will not do this to you. So, in any case, we will return to the ranks of the genin quite quickly. Naruto, I'll do it. I'll help, and then I'll give up the bell. Hanada answered, and after listening to her feelings, it becomes clear that for her these words were a real feat. There was so much embarrassment, fear and shyness that I almost began to dissolve in these emotions. No, Hanada, if you do this, then you will avoid problems with geninship, but in the clan you may have problems. You said that the attitude towards you is already not very good, there is no need to make things worse. This will not bring personal harm to Sasuke, but his reputation could suffer greatly because of this, and his reputation is important to him, after all, he is the last member clan. P.F. So, more and more often this clan trait began to emerge in him, he will soon forget how to speak, he will only puff and grunt. So the best option would be me, an orphan, my reputation will not suffer, there will be no problems, and the more time I have it will be, so much the better for me. I will become stronger and faster, control will be better and better, and my arsenal will grow. With your army of clones, anyone could develop at such a speed that such a striking difference appears in just a year. In case you forgot, Sasuke, I received them not so long ago, and your remark is somewhat strange, don't you think, bearer of the miracle I? I said to Sasuke, whom I actually sometimes internally caught feeling envious of my chakra volumes and, accordingly, the number of clones for training. In response, I reminded him of his Sharingan, to which he always responded the same way. Argument. Okay, any objections? No? Great, now we need to select the bells. Any suggestions? No? In this case, 
We use the best plan. We improvise and try to help each other without harming each other. And remember, especially you, Hanada, that this is not a genin, but a full-fledged junin, you can't, but you need to hit him with full force, without fear of harming him. Moreover, if someone inflicts some significant damage on him, then this is a reason to be proud. Naruto. I think that everyone shouldn't immediately get into close combat with him, Sasuke began. Hanada specializes in close combat and I think she's the one who needs to engage in it. We help from a distance. I'll give you shurikens, you give me kanais. We have iron and ninjutsu behind us, especially on you. If possible, we help in close combat. Hanada. Do you agree? I asked her. Yes. I won't hold back. Nodding carefully, she told us. Then let's begin. I said. I remove the fabric, destroying the technique of the invisibility cloak, and immediately create five clones, diverging in different directions, after which I, Sasuke and Hanada moved towards the sensei. He stood in the middle of the training ground and read some book with one eye, and the rest of his face was covered by a mask and protector. Fire release. Great fireball. Sasuke said, in a matter of seconds he formed a seal of concentration and blew out a huge ball of fire, which went towards the sensei. Only I felt another source of emotions, similar to the one into which Sasuke's ball was flying. Clone. I turn around and create, without words and only with the seal of concentration, a water core that flies at high speed into the foliage of the trees, where the signal of emotions came from. The clone dodged the fireball, but the blast wave caught him and threw him a little further than where he planned to land. My core didn't hit the sensei or his clone, since he was much further away and managed to dodge, but when he jumped out, I sent a dozen unstable water shuriken at him, forcing him to dodge again, but I threw more and more shuriken until I was alone none of them hit or cut the clone, causing it to dissipate in a cloud of chakra. Shadow clone. At that moment, Sasuke was also able, albeit with difficulty, to hit sensei with one of the projectiles of the phoenix flower technique, and he also disintegrated into a cloud of chakra. Here I am I felt a sharp appearance of the sensei's emotions very close to us. He wanted to hit me, I noticed his shadow appearing and his hand moving to strike, but then his hand was knocked down by Hanada's hand, which hit it eight times, judging by the shadow, with terrifying speed. I noticed something, but it's not a fact that I would have been able to dodge everyone. This sensei did not disintegrate into chakra, instead jumping away with his right arm hanging like a whip. At that moment, Kanai thrown by Sasuke flew at him, but Kakashi simply turned around and kicked two of them, the rest hit those places where Kakashi sensei could probably jump. All my clones jumped out of the forest and each fired a rather strong Sweden and Kaden technique. Kakashi, in order to avoid being hit by rather dangerous techniques, simply replaced himself with a log, which immediately burned due to a great fireball and then shattered into pieces when hit by a water dragon. The source of the emotions turned out to be in the trees again, so the clones and I simply launched a water core there in approximately the same way that Sasuke had previously launched a kanai. Kakashi moved again, but this time not being replaced by a log, but simply disappearing here and appearing somewhere else. Useful technique. It's just that where he moved there were my clones, however, I doubt that he didn't know this. He began to destroy the clones one by one with blows, until one of them, in pure control, without words, without seals, pierced his foot with a spike made of water, which grew from the puddle where he stepped. Kakashi hesitated for a moment, apparently did not expect that he would be so wounded, and then jumped back. Practically ignoring the pain. In the place where he ended up there were also three clones of me. But I didn't feel any connection with them. Kakashi either didn't notice my thoughtful look, or something else, but struck the clone, only the blow went right through. Illusory clone. Then the other two approached from different sides and went into hand-to-hand -hand combat. And the next moment, the hands of one of the clones sharply accelerated and delivered the same eight blows in a second. Hanada. And at the same time, a kanai flew from the opposite direction, cutting off the sensei's bells and they began to fall. A seal of concentration and from a small puddle next to them a water tentacle grew, which absorbed them and seemed to shoot at me. I already caught them with my hand. Ready. Commentary on part 22 The draft was starting to be bet, so the author's commentary was cut off. I'll say for him. If anyone bothered me, thank you. I urge myself. 1, 2, 3, lost text restored backed off readability has been improved. Cat. Part 23 or maybe it's still worth apologizing to the sensei? Hanada asked us. It's my own fault. 
There was no point in giving in so much and underestimating us. Sasuke replied, continuing to eat a bowl of ramen. But, Hanada began again. Hanada, calm down. He'll be fine. Knowing the capabilities of the Iryananov, especially the good ones, tomorrow there will be no trace of injury left. It's good that you're so kind, it makes you even sweeter, but if you continue to worry about Kakashi Sensei's injury, you won't have time to get enough. Come on, come on. And, following his own words, he ran into a plate of ramen. Hanada nodded, sighed and exhaled, calmed down, and then began to eat. Five minutes later, she had already caught up with me and finished the first cup. And then, like me, I started the second one. The second was followed by a third, then a fourth. And these are not just cups, but the largest in this shop. After seven similar cups, I realized that I was close to the limit, and after two more I realized that I couldn't fit into me anymore, and cutie Hanada continued to eat cup after cup with an innocent face and terrible speed. I sat and my eyes were protruding, ready to jump out of their sockets at any moment, my jaw took the lowest possible position, and I turned pale, imagining that I was eating the same amount. Considering that I was already feeling bad, I turned pale for good reason. The expression on Sasuke's face became the same as mine now even on the fifth plate of mine and Hanada, now he I was simply out of this world, my soul having gone somewhere far, far away. Thank you, it was very tasty. Hanada said, smiling sweetly and embarrassed, when the mountain of cups became taller than us. Nightmare. And I thought it was my good appetite. Yes, I am nothing in comparison with her. It. Was. Just. Awesome. Articulate I said. Sorry. I'm just. A little hungry. Turning to me and glancing briefly at Sasuke, Hanada said, No, nothing bad, it's just. We seem to be having a training session. Okay, I know myself, Sasuke hasn't eaten much. But can you go to training? I answered deliberately and, watching her, got up from the chair, you never know if she's going to feel bad. No, everything is fine, I can train, she answered passionately, clasping her hands to her chest. Okay, then let's go the food will settle down along the way. Hum. Sasuke answered, hinting that only Hanada and I got drunk. We went to the training ground, which is assigned to our team number 8. There we decided to start joint training. As Kakashi Sensei said, before he disappeared with a wounded leg and ended up in the hospital, our teamwork is good, we interact well with each other's abilities and with ourselves personally, intuitively adjusting the fight to each other. This especially applies to Hanada, she has she managed to adapt perfectly to the battle scene and enter it unnoticed, which is how she caught the relaxed Kakashi Sensei. It is surprising that even after receiving a through wound, he did not focus on us and did not begin to take us seriously. Just a little more. But, nevertheless, despite good intuitive work in a team, you need to learn to work in a team and consciously, too, to work out interaction, action patterns in different situations. In short, there is a lot to do. My shadow clones turned out to be an undoubted assistant in terms of training, they helped to arrange various conditions for completing the mission, and at the same time they had considerable strength, speed and relatively considerable strength. So, on the go, we learned to interact with each other, cover our backs, back up, change roles and take on tasks unusual for each other and then execution. It was interesting, at some moments it was fun, at times it was upsetting because someone was making a stupid mistake. I was no exception. On the second day of training with the team, Kakashi returned and delighted us with a new mission. More precisely, the first mission. Commentary on part 23 I know it's a little late, but I can't help it. I'm dying to sleep. So here's a short transitional chapter and wait for the new product while I go to bed. 1, 2, 3, verified repaired. Part 24 to be honest, I expected something more from the missions, no seriously. For five years, like the rest of the genin, I studied at the academy as a future warrior and killer, I have already killed, I learned to accurately throw shurikens, I mastered the elements of water and fire, the shadow clone technique at a good level, I am very strong and fast. So why Biju, our first mission was to weed the garden to get rid of the weeds. Where is the logic? Tell me. Such a quiet internal hysteria unfolded inside me, while I myself was hanging, inside myself waging a civil war with myself. But five minutes passed and I woke up. By this time, Sasuke and Hanada had already started working and weeding the garden. Um. People. I was thinking, I scratched the back of my head, and, frowning, continued, 
Why are we hunching over here? In terms of? Sasuke asked and turned to me, although it's strange that this genius himself didn't guess. People. Let's go train. Fuck this crap. I shrugged. And who will carry out this miss? At that moment I put down the cloning seal and created exactly a hundred clones, who immediately ran away, since the areas were divided in advance, and got down to business. How I envy you, Naruto. Sasuke said quietly, and envy flared up in his feelings, but was immediately suppressed by his will. Anyway, okay, where should we go? Yes, as usual. What else do we need a training ground for? I turned to Hanada, beautiful Hanada, shall we go to training? Yes, let's go, she answered cheerfully. And all this time Kakashi Sensei was watching and listening to us. We left, and Kakashi followed us, hiding in the foliage. We reached the training ground and had just begun a short training session when the clones scattered and conveyed the knowledge that the mission was completed. They didn't live very long, so the load wasn't particularly heavy and it didn't knock me down, except that it made me stagger for a second, but I immediately continued training, so hardly anyone noticed. The training was completed after three hours, after which we went home to wash and meet again later. The three of us went to Ichiraku Ramen again, where we ate heavily and I fed Hanada as much as I could. And what? I am not afraid that she will gain weight, since I learned from Teguda Senpei that for some of the Hyuga clan this is a completely normal appetite. It is connected with the fact that they are the owners of one of the dojutsu, and it is very fragile, complex, but terribly gluttonous, both in terms of chakra and in terms of ordinary nutrients. It seems that they can consume something there, these two eyes? So, in some ways you you're right, but the Byakugans don't force the owner to constantly eat. No, it stores the most necessary substances in the body, in places where it can quickly and easily reach. That is why, when it is activated, the veins swell. Partly due to the active absorption of chakra, which strains the capillaries and chakra channels in the eyes, and partly due to the absorption of these deposited substances. Usually Hyugas don't eat so much in front of everyone, but away from prying eyes they eat almost more, and some representatives of this clan, more than members of the Akamichi clan. Doctors know this well, those who have at least once taken on the treatment of one of the Hyugas, but try to tell about it, this clan will destroy you. Literally. And so I always ate myself first, keeping pace with Hanada, and then I also fed her. With our training, she will definitely not get fat, which, as Teguda Senpei told me, girls are afraid of, so I took advantage of the opportunity all the time. Hanada was shy, she tried to resist, she was timid and embarrassed, but she obeyed and ate until her hunger was satisfied. What can I say, in our training we plan to soon start training using her Byakugan and Sasuke's Sharingan. A. I'm the only one who doesn't have cool eyes. It's kind of a shame. Maybe you can somehow get eyes. After all, others somehow received them. This means there are ways, but they are most likely very difficult, and therefore few have followed it. But those who went have cool eyes and strength. When we had all eaten and talked, we decided to leave. Sasuke was the first to leave. He said that he was tired of sitting with us, although from my emotions I felt that he just wanted to sleep and leave us alone. Together with with Hanada, we walked through the streets and laughed at some of the situations we saw. In short, we had a good time. I accompanied her to her own block and from there quickly headed to my clearing. Arriving there, I met again with my sensei observer. Again I felt the observers move away somewhere and disappear from the radius, and there my training began. During training, I managed to notice some of my teacher's movements, although most of them remained blurred and were not clearly perceived by me. My teacher's speed was enormous, and I could hardly hold my own against him. I was strong, but the teacher was stronger, I was fast, but he was faster. The only thing I gained in was body strength. In sparring, my control, as in a rather extreme environment, grew quite quickly, I strengthened my whole body better and better, which with my volume was simply incredibly effective. The teacher's blows were powerful, very powerful, but they only left bruises on me, which appeared after 12 seconds, and after a minute there were no more bruises at the site of the blow. Regeneration rules. And, most importantly, it is the only thing that does not weaken because of the bracelets and trains the way it is. Training with this sensei is the most unpleasant. There were very unpleasant days when I had to lie on the ground and recover for hours, waiting for the muscles, ligaments, bones to heal, and for the joints to fall into place. He never forced me to study, I came myself, voluntarily, 
despite the injuries I received, in the end I have regeneration and I use it to the fullest. In exchange for it was the sensei who never held back, only at the very beginning he restrained his strength, but one day he simply stopped and began to work at full strength. Did you receive such an order, or what? But I can't help but admit that it was effective, although it was painful, and the emotions from this all the time jumped from the peaks to the enormous depths. He didn't give any specific techniques, he showed stances, movements, basic combinations, which I had already practiced and consolidated in the battle with him and Sasuke, gradually supplementing and improving. The training ended and I was left to recover. When the sensei left, the observers returned, and when I recovered, I began to perform the circles. Left a little. Now I am experiencing active growth and hormonal imbalance in my body, and this is the best time when you can actively develop physically, when progress is the fastest and most noticeable. And I already began to notice this, performing two sets of circles almost every day, increasing the number of circles every day, sometimes by three or four circles. The amount of chakra also began to grow, as did, albeit slightly, yin, and therefore control. In short, the most active stage of my development had now begun, and I was not going to miss it. I may have no limits, but here I have the opportunity to develop quickly and effectively, so go ahead, sooner or later we will begin normal missions. Commentary on part 24 The lecture is such a lecture that I decided to write a prod. There haven't been any translations for a long time, apparently that's it, the fishing season is over, it's a pity. Thank you all for reading, comments and ratings, all the best to everyone and until the next product. Most likely, tomorrow. Beta, come. I, the author, call upon you, oh great one. Beta plus praise equals well done repaired. Finished off by the cat. Part 25 A month passed during which our team received low-ranked missions. It was everything from weeding gardens to babysitting children. We received them, then created shadow clones, they, to know what was happening, and I, as the main supplier of labor. But this is if there is a lot of work. If not, then we created a clone and sent them to work. For example, this is exactly what we did to sit with children. The originals, that is, we, went to a two-hour team training session. After that, traditionally, we ate our fill at Ichiraku Ramen and went our separate ways. Our training became a little more difficult each time for the others. I don't know why, but Hanada has excellent stamina, which cannot be said about Sasuke. No, he's doing great too, but if you compare, you can't really say the same, but Hanada is very strong and fast. And to all this comes endurance. Should I not know, the one who constantly spars with her. This turned out to be quite complicated. It was very difficult to convince Hanada not just to hit, but to actually fight me, she constantly resisted, not wanting to hurt me or Sasuke is in pain. But then we had to take extreme measures. I had to play certain emotions that were not the most pleasant for Hanada, directing them at her and playing a small scene where Sasuke and I tried again and again to persuade her to act at full strength, and when she once again could not overcome herself, Sasuke began to pour out at her with a lethal dose of contempt and disappointment. I simply radiated hope, helping Hanada stay on the very edge. And then, again refusing to hit me at the moment when I deliberately set myself up, she felt the same emotions from me, only much stronger. As it turned out, I can not only feel emotions by perceiving feelings, but also emit them and even concentrate them on one person. I didn't know about it then, but I did it involuntarily, which made Hinta feel contempt and disappointment from me many times stronger, and this completely covered up similar feelings from Sasuke. In addition, there was a psychological effect from the fact that she loves me, and also knows that I love her, and this hit her even harder, so much so that she almost broke. The only thing she held on to was my hope, but it abruptly, instantly disappeared, transforming into these terrible feelings for Hanada. Hanada, please don't hold back. Fight with full force, I beg you. Use everything you can. I shouted to her, and my emotions lit up a small ember of hope, which she easily noticed among such a huge amount of negativity. It's like candlelight in pitch darkness, and she reached out to him. It hurted me. It hurts to come up with this scene, it hurts to rehearse this with Sasuke, teaching him to imitate and express the necessary feelings, it hurts to do the same thing yourself and imagine what Hanada will experience in that moment. And it was an order of magnitude more painful for me to translate all this into reality. It hurts to feel her emotions and feel how she breaks, how the last straw she was holding on to disappeared, and it was as if she began to drown. 
And when she felt that ember, she reached out to it and tried to do everything to reach it. And for this I broke myself, changed myself. And I was in pain, but physically. Sixteen places in different parts of the body flared up with pain in just a second. I felt like those places through which chakra comes out, tenketsu, seemed to explode and volumes of chakra that were huge for everyone else began to flow out of them, which made it seem that from those places where it hit, dark purple smoke with a small admixture of fiery red color began to come out. I saw, albeit with difficulty, her movements, but I couldn't even really see her, let alone dodge. And a moment later she found herself near Sasuke and delivered only eight blows with the same effect, only the smoke did not come out of it. The pain from the Taketsu was enormous, and this pain did something in me, from which the concentration of red red chakra in the smoke became greater, and the smoke itself became heavier, as a result it began to slowly descend to the ground. The pain began to subside little by little and after three minutes there was no pain left, as well as the smoke that was coming out of me. Hanada. Half a minute after putting Sasuke down, seemed to wake up and immediately rushed to me. She sat down next to me, immediately activated her by a Kugan, which, by the way, she also used during strikes, and began to examine me. Veins around her eyes swollen, the Byakugan changed a little, and moisture began to accumulate in the eyes. She looked at me and soon the first tear flowed. Naruto. Naruto I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this, it hurts. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Tears were already flowing in streams, concentration was lost and the Byakugan was deactivated, and Hanada was slowly starting to become hysterical. Hanada, please lean closer. When she did this, I, despite the pain from the Teketsu that had not yet healed, made one movement and hugged Hanada. Well done. You were able to hit us with full force, you showed that you are strong, and that we have room to grow, so thanks to you we will become even stronger. Now you are not weak Hanada, and they won't be able to call you that, and if they do, immediately beat them. Forgive me for what I did here and please don't be offended by us, we wanted to help you and couldn't think of anything better, even though it was very painful to hurt you, but it was necessary. Hanada cutie, will you forgive me and Sasuke? During my monologue, while I was hugging Hanada, my chakra system restored the damage to a minimum level and stopped releasing poisonous chakra outward. It's good that none of the streams were directed towards Hanada. Naruto Baka. Thank you. You and Sasuke-kun, thank you. Hanada said hugging me no weaker than I did. It would be wonderful to just lie there for a couple of hours, but, hey, I'm actually still here, and it hurts me a lot, help me already, Sasuke shouted. A, there is no justice in the world, commentary on part 25 mastered. Summon beta. Activation. Is this Pikachu? No, it's beta. Meow. Backed off part 26, are you sure that it wouldn't be easier to just turn him off and trudge on in the comfort of silence? I asked the rest of those walking nearby, that is, Sasuke, Hanada, Kakashi, and our client, who was walking nearby and heard me. Hum. Sasuke answered thoughtfully. I don't know. Hanada answered with doubt in her voice. I don't think this is a good idea, he is still our customer. Kakashi sensei said with a little doubt at the beginning and increased confidence in his voice at the end. He will cease to be our customer after completing the mission to deliver him to the place alive? I asked hopefully. Yes, but. The sensei couldn't finish, as both I and all the other members of my team synchronously turned their heads to the customer with another bottle of alcohol in his hand and smiled sweetly at him. We are all waiting and just can't wait for this second. I answered for all three after which we turned around and continued on our way. But our customer began to emit just tons of fear and panic, it serves him right. In general, it's probably worth explaining what's happening. But everything turned out to be simply banal, mission. First C rank mission. Cool, of course, and all that, but damn, I'm already used to previous missions and the fact that almost the whole day is free for training. It was wonderful when you can devote the whole day only to your development and your team with your friends, more precisely, one friend, Shino, whose team included Inazuka Kiba, that bully who got in on me and Hanada, as well as Sakura Haruno, who not long ago went to medical courses at the hospital, where I met her. He told me all sorts of things about her, including her obsession with Sasuke. She only talks about him all the time. What a horror. I continued to train in Taijutsu with Sasuke. And now a certain parody has begun to emerge. He saw my every movement with his Sharingan and sometimes could dodge by placing diversion blocks, but he could no longer defeat me only with technique. 
I may not have had my own super style, but I had individual elements of combat, which I practiced, supplemented and improved every movement in battles with a nameless sensei who was much superior to me. It's just that my strength and speed are constantly growing, especially now, but Sasuke's progress in this regard is not so great. No, if I hadn't taken advantage of the enormous advantage of my regeneration, there's no way I would have could keep up with him, yet, probably, it's not for nothing that Sasuke is called the genius of the clan, his progress is very fast, and he has already significantly surpassed the rest of the students in our course. With the exception of me, Hanada and. That's all, probably. The three of us overtook the others very, very significantly. Hum, if you think about how we even got into one team, everyone is so strong, because we were told that the distribution among teams takes into account the strengths and weaknesses of each member and is compensated by the other member. Then why did the three most powerful genin end up on the same team? Hum. Just now, thinking about this question, I have all sorts of thoughts began to appear. So, the constant increase in strength and speed gradually brings Sasuke and I back to where we started, my physical superiority over him, and at the same time parity in tactics, which always led to my victories. And I don't know whether this is good or bad. I began to notice during our sparring that not the most positive emotions appeared in him, even if he suppressed them with his will almost immediately. But this is an alarming bell. So what should I do? I can't explain to him that I have such an advantage either from nature or from the monster sitting inside me. No, I tried, I really tried. And he seems to understand everything, realizes it, but only the worm of envy still appears sometimes, even if it is immediately suppressed. With Hanada. Everything was just wonderful with her. After she knocked out Tenketsu for us, and after my recovery, we took Sasuke to the hospital, where he was treated until the morning and left there in the morning, having slept at the same time, Hanada seemed to have overcome the barrier that prevented her from harming people close to her. Hurt them. No, that doesn't mean she started beating us. Right away, it's just that now she could actually hit, which she did constantly during our training. Hanada, fighting at full strength, became a fearsome fighter. In close combat, she somehow sharply accelerated literally for a second and delivered 16 blows at enormous speed to different points of the body, knocking out Tenketsu, which caused terrible pain and seriously interfered with the use of chakra. It's just that she can use this acceleration, at which she can hit 16 times per second, only once at maximum endurance, and then twice deliver 8 hits per second and that's it. After this, she rests for a very long time, because she is incredibly exhausted. I wanted to learn this too, but it didn't work out. No, the problem here is not the Byakugan. It is only needed to know where to hit, the problem is the unrealistic chakra control. In fact, Hanada has much better chakra control than Sasuke. As for that incident, not only was she not offended, but she thanked us for it. Especially me. In general, as I noticed, although Hanada's shyness has not decreased, she has learned to overcome it just fine. Imagine my surprise when I was sitting on a bench and felt Hanada approaching from behind, judging by my feelings, and then bam, and they hugged me from behind, simply flooding me with cubic meters of embarrassment. Yes, I almost melted right there from this, moreover, I didn't melt almost literally, because I felt how my chakra began to turn into water chakra and strangely permeate my body. I then quickly prevented all this and simply continued to melt in Hanada's arms, but I took note of this incident. For a month we carried out these stupid missions, but in the end I and the others got used to it and, when this happened, literally after a couple of days we were given the next rank mission. The task itself was simple, escort and security, but the person who needed to be accompanied was terrible. An alcoholic with a terrible character, Tizuna. So I'm thinking, will we endure it or not? Will he live or not? Commentary on part 26 wrote before bed. I couldn't help but write. Someone threw a stolnik on the card, didn't introduce themselves, but it can't be ignored. Thanks to unknown, I hope you and everyone else enjoys the chapter. Delayed beta summoning, 1 septillion 993 quintillion 986 quadrillion 979 trillion 972 billion 965 million 958,951, checked by Diamond. Checked by Nimanual checked by Cat Part 27 the first surprise occurred after three days of leisurely travel at the speed of our customer. That is, we walked slowly. At first I felt two new sources of emotion. There was anticipation, excitement and several other emotions, and then, quietly watching the source, I saw a puddle. In the middle of the road. 
on the third hot sunny day in a row, when not even clouds appeared. And emotions come from there. Among the techniques of the water element there were many useful ones. One of these is merging with water, which allows you to hide in any body of water from a lake to a puddle. And here it is, a puddle. I didn't think for a long time, because as soon as I felt new emotions signaling that the ambush would now begin to take effect, and I had no doubt that it was an ambush, I went ahead and put the seal of concentration, taking control of the water. On the one hand, it was dangerous, if they were strong enough, I wouldn't have succeeded, if they were good enough in Sweden, I wouldn't have succeeded either, but both of them were superior to their performance in these areas, and therefore. The technique of merging with water is dangerous because it cannot be used if there is a better shinobi in this element, since he will simply take control of the water and kill the shinobi hiding in it without any resistance. I didn't use a technique, only direct control, but it was enough for me to simply tear one of the hiding shinobi into pieces inside the puddle, which is why it immediately turned red with blood, and in a second later a second shinobi jumped out. He hesitated for one second, looking with wide eyes at the blood red puddle, and then rushed towards me, screaming. Why did he run towards me? Perhaps because I was the only one who put down the seal and his friend or partner was killed. The only fact is that he couldn't run. Behind him, from the puddle, stretched a long chain with a bloody glove at the end, the same as on his hand, and Sasuke nailed this chain with kanai and shuriken. Hanada immediately jumped up to the shinobi and knocked out eight of his tenketsu, depriving him of the ability to use chakra. And then she struck one blow to the head, and the enemy lost consciousness. The entire battle, from me making the seal of concentration to losing consciousness, judging by his feelings, it was exactly like that, took no more than ten seconds. The same Tazuna didn't understand anything at all and was now looking blankly at the knocked out shinobi. Great job. Well done. We dealt with the chunin. Kakashi began to broadcast. 2. I answered and nodded towards the puddle. Kakashi didn't even look, he just nodded, admitting he was right. The living may need this one. Right. Naruto, how did you cope with the second one? He asked me. They used the technique of merging with water but the main danger of the technique is that it may be unlucky, and if among your enemies you come across someone who controls the element of water better than you or is simply stronger in the chakra with a penchant for water, then you will not be able to do anything oppose, and you will be killed without resistance. That's what I did with the second one, or rather the first one, I simply tore it apart with water, which is my main element. Are you that good at controlling water? This is unusual for your age, he narrowed his eyes. Shadow clones and large volumes of chakra, and even mixed with a high propensity for the elements, work incredible miracles in terms of the speed of mastering the elements. After all, I wounded you in the leg not with a technique, but with direct control, forming a water blade under you. And this means something. While I was answering Sensei, I simultaneously approached the puddle that was mixed with blood and meat and examined it. Some thought flashed in my head, but did not want to form fully. You're probably right. But such successes in spontaneous transformation and control of the elements are a very great success. Sasuke has no less success in the fire element, but it is not his main element, so, without taking into account our volumes and the use of shadow clones, Sasuke is ahead of me. I take quantity. PF. Came Sasuke's answer to this little speech of mine, although his emotions clearly expressed pleasure from such a review about him. Whatever you say, and no matter how he behaves, I know that he is a good guy and therefore even ordinary praise from someone who is in fact ahead of him in almost everything still warms his self-esteem. No one is protected from this. Kakashi sensei only nodded at my words and looked at Sasuke, after which he went to the knocked out enemy Chunin. I looked at the puddle, trying to catch that thought, to form it, but it simply moved away from me, not wanting to take shape. This feeling is similar to how you wanted to say something, got distracted, forgot what you wanted to say and, no matter how hard you try, you just can't remember, although you know for sure that it's something important. There's something similar here. I can't remember what thought flashed through my head. Naruto, what are you doing? Asked Hanada who came up. Nothing important, Hanada, I turned to her and saw how pale she was, Hanada, are you okay? Are you injured? Did you damage something? Why so pale? I looked at her hands, they were all shaking. Nothing, Naruto. Everything is fine, it's just. I've never seen so much blood, because there was one of the Chunin there. And he stayed there, right? She asked, nodding towards the puddle where I was standing. Everything is clear, for her, 
such a sight as a rather large pool of blood with pieces of a shinobi's body floating in it was too difficult the first time. So she's shaking all over. Although this is not the first murder, it is no weaker on the brain. True, Hanada, true. Come here, calm down. Everything is fine, this is the enemy, so sometimes you have to do this, calm down. I reassured Hanada and said that everything was fine, while thinking about why I was reacting to this completely calm. Ordinary, is this really a consequence of my dream with the appearance of Axel? Has he really influenced me so much that murder, and a very cruel one, I must admit, is the norm for me? Guys, let's go, I found out everything we needed to know. Kakashi appeared nearby and immediately turned to Tazuna with a serious face, but you and I will have a very interesting conversation. 